and welcome to whatever this is. Uh, a few weeks ago, Fan House made a tweet, this tweet to be exact, right here, and they mentioned that they had a cocktail in mind for their brand. Well, I knew exactly the person to make that cocktail, so today we're going to be making the Fan House no, cocktail. No, and no, there's no. gonna. Uh, 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 <laughs> no, for everyone who knows me, I am the cocktail master. My name is Badgers, I'm Cape Health Partner. So, for the Fan House cocktail that's with, that they post on Twitter, I will be making it to the exact measurements and then doing my own berries as well. What are you doing? Anyway, yeah, so we'll go and make it Kay's, Kay's Fan House cocktail as well, but the only way you can do that is by actually subscribing to her Fan House itself. Let's get started with it, really. So the first thing that is on the list is strawberries. I'm just going to use about three strawberries. And wait, according to the recipe, you're meant to muddle those together, so... It then adds, says one part cognac. Fancy term, it's the fancy version of brandy, really. I'm using the one that I found, because I didn't want to use like a 200, 300 pound bottle, because that's how expensive sometimes they can be. So I'm, using, I'm pouring about 50 ml in this, because it says one part, I don't exactly know how much. But then I ask one, one part sweet cream. We do not have sweet cream in the UK. So the way that you make sweet cream is that you buy double cream and you add some sugar to it. Question, chef. No. <coughs> is squirty cream not sweet cream? Yes, but you can't fix that in a cocktail. It would be fun though. Anyway, what I'm doing is pouring out 50 ml of cream. Then what I'm going to do is just add a little bit of sugar to it. Then that goes straight to the shaker as well. And then we add vanilla syrup. I've actually made my own vanilla syrup. Very, very simple. If you want to get into making cocktails, making your own syrup is one of the easiest things to do. It just adds a little bit of sweetness to it. Use part water, part sugar, chuck that into a pan, let the sugar dissolve into the water, and then you've got your syrup. And then if you want to make vanilla, you add vanilla extract if you want. And then there's all different recipes for different types of syrup. Yes? It's half part vanilla syrup, and also it's actually two parts cognac. Well, half half vanilla syrup. Homemade. And then we're going to crack some ice. And we just shake that. Got a nice little martini glass for this, because I think this will look very nice in it. Then, do a nice pour it. Give me a knife! You know you won't allow a knife. But this one time, please! That, that's a bit extreme. A smaller knife, a smaller knife. Yes, that's better. So what do you do? You'll have to wait and see. What did you do? <laughs> I was gonna make a helmet. It's a weenie! <laughs> Let me try that again. Let me rewind. It's a house. And we'll, for proper garnish, which is what I want, slice strawberry, and just put it on the edge like that. Perfect. So, this is the Fan House cocktail. This is the first time that we've done it, so I have no idea what this is gonna taste like. I will smell it. I don't really it's... drink. You know what? That's actually not bad. It's actually very... It smells it's, nice. It's definitely strawberry. You've got the cream in there as well. The cognac has that little bit of punch to it. It's, um, that cognac does stay around a lot. The problem is that I've added way too much cognac, but I have the same part of cream to what, um, to what it said. Yeah, yeah. You initially get that strawberry and then you get the cream mixing into it, which is a really nice combination of strawberries and cream, you can't go wrong with that. And that cognac just adds that little kick to it. Honestly, really not bad. It's a not a bad cocktail, but personally for me, I can do one better. So that's the fan house. Okay, moving on to the next cocktail, which is my version of the fan house. I believe that it needs a little bit of something more, a little bit of pizzazz, you know. So we're still going to start with the same things, which is some strawberries in the bottom, and then you muddle them up. Next is the cognac, and we're going to use the right measurement this time. So we're doing 50 ml of cognac with 25 ml of cream. There you go, two parts cognac to one part cream. And I'm not sweetening it this time. It's just going to be normal cream. And instead of the vanilla syrup, we're going to be adding Cointreau. 
24 minutes with this as well. Cracking the ice. And then we shake it. See, this is a bit more of a flourish, double honey bit. Well, like really, I want to be like I'm in a tiki bar, that's it. And then we just give it a pour. So this is the Badger's fan house. Well, that's definitely a lot stronger because you've got two different types of alcohol in there. The Contra actually eliminates the cognac a little bit as well. Um, and just has this little orange tint to it. Not much, a little orangey. The strawberries and cream still is the main priority over it. And this one wants to do decoration. Basically, what you want to just do is just squeeze it and then you somehow twist it, I believe, just like that. And you just put that <laughs> on the side, just like that. Ooh. So this is going to add lemon twist to it and the whole thing about it is that you can, the smell of it is just going to be lemony now as well. That lemon helps a lot. I'm not joking, the lemon helps a lot. I would recommend it. If you've got an orange, I think it'll be so much best because of the contro. The lemon just slices through it, which is really, really nice. It actually makes it smoother to drink as well. It depends what your flavor is. The first one is a lot sweeter. My one's just more alcoholic, but it's got that. More. This is my taste buds now. So we've got two versions of the fan house. We've got the original fan house I was posting on Twitter, and then my rendition of it. Honestly, it's up to you how you make it. There's so many different combinations that you can do with it. I tried it with Bailey's actually before trying this. I did not recommend it. Some people recommend chocolate as well because the strawberry and chocolate mixed together. But those are my renditions of it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed it. I think Kay's been enjoyed me watching this and messing up in the background. Kay's own version of the fan house cocktail will be on her fan house. So please search Kay Pound XD on fan house. And please do subscribe because then you'll have more bonus content to view. Like Badger's taking your shirt off. <laughs> so I did some frickin' frickin' fresh, frickin' frickin' fresh. Through the cheese? Yeah!